good morning, fellow model railroaders, and truckers, and scrappers, and homesteaders, and woodworkers, and metal workers, and car auto repair, whatever else is whoever else is watching this. This be uh, New Mexico about uh, well eight o'clock out here, eight oh seven to be precise. And I come into a fog bank, and we'll see how many people have their headlights on. I know people coming in the other direction probably won't have their headlights on. Nobody's going to have their headlights on. Oh, it's fog. It doesn't matter. It's just something else on the road, you know? But, you know, I'd like to be able to see things. I'd like to be able to see people. Yes, you get a morning rant, and I'll even post it before I post the videos. Oh, it wasn't that far through it, I guess. He still needs to learn how to drive on his side of the road. Some of us can 
drive, you know, 60 and 70 mile an hour still when it's raining that bad. I had to flash, I don't know how many, three, three or four different people. I, and I ran with my headlights on bright for a good mile before they decided to get over and get out of my way. That's just not, that's just, ugh. See, like that guy, he should have gotten over. Should have passed the car, because the left lane is for passing only. See, if there had been a truck behind this truck, and with that car in the left lane, well, I know what most truckers would do. They'd jump out and slow the car down. Well, I'm sorry, but... He's only 
him pulling a car, but if he's pulling a trailer that's you know, as high as the RV, guess what? They don't need CDLs because there's a bathroom in that RV. Well, I should say if that RV was actually a truck and then it had a bathroom with a shitter on it, then it would be an RV, even though it was a truck cab. But because it's got a shitter on it, it can be listed as an RV, and that means they don't need a CDL, which is bull honky bullshit. It has a diesel motor, it has air brakes, it's uh, over, it's got to be over 26,000 pounds. I mean, it's not. If it's not over 26,000, then it should be at least a Class B. stay in the right lane no matter what. Pickups. Pickups pulling fifth wheels. I don't care how big your fifth how big your pickup is. You don't need to be in the left lane passing either. I've seen too many camper, you know, camper trailer pickup pulling campers, fifth wheel campers that get squirrely and end up wrecking and it flips and flips them and everything. Even RVs and trailers, they need to slow down because they their trailer starts flipping, uh, fishtailing. If it starts fishtailing, you need to back out of it. Don't hit the brakes, just back out of it. Well, I mean, unless you got trailer brakes. Tap your trailer brakes and it might you know, straighten your ass out. driving tests to anyone who wants to pull an uh, RV and a car or a pickup or a trailer, a U-Haul trailer, or even a bigger trailer. And then of course, then you get, oh, then, then you get the pickups pulling the fifth wheel campers, and then their boats behind the camper. That should be illegal. Number one, you can't see the trailer, the boat trailer behind the camper unless you got some uh, markers stick hanging out from off the off the fenders or something. Nine times out of ten, that tra that boat trailer's whipping fish tailing back there, and you can't see it. Some truckers still run at 70, and most cars still are 75, 75. 